Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is September 20th, 2022. Dollar's a little bit higher, stock's a little bit lower, interest rates are higher as well. Let's take a look at some of the technicals that are driving the Forex market to start the, your trading day. Let's start the morning report by taking a look at the euro versus US dollar. We saw the uh, that currency pair uh, waffled to the downside and upside back at yesterday, uh, erased the declines that we saw in the Asian into the European session and then closed near the highs for the day. That uh, momentum continued into the uh, Asian session today with the price also extending above this uh, this swing area, swing high, swing low, swing low, swing high, swing high, swing high, and the 50% retracement level. The market moved above that level, but um, we could not sustain any momentum when the price moved above it here in the early Asian session. And then in the early European session, we did get uh, German PPI, which surprised uh, very much to the upside, which was a negative thing as uh, inflation rose by close to 8% month on month versus 2.5% uh, expected, which was big enough as it is. Uh, that uh, sent the uh, euro versus US dollar to the downside as concerns about higher inflation, cutting off spending um, added to the euro, euro, euro's uh, woes and the uh, price uh, started to move below the 100 hour moving average in the early New York session here today. And we're seeing continued selling here, breaking below the trend line here as we uh, speak uh, this area through here is uh, still the box uh, we did uh, have one of those fail breaks uh, like we saw up here on the downside uh, last Thursday and uh, the market uh, quickly rebounded moved to the upside so now we have a fail break here and here and the market quickly removed to move to the downside so uh, watching the uh, one zero point nine nine five one five level get below that and stay below that level uh, is more bearish recall from the daily chart. If we go back to July, the low price on that day was 0 0.99515. And uh, all these lows here uh, last week uh, stalled near or uh, just below that um, that uh, level, this line right here. And so we're going to have to need, we're going to need to move below that level to increase the bearish buys here for the uh, euro versus US dollar. We can look down toward this swing area and down toward the lows for the month of September here and here. Let's uh, next take a look at the dollar versus yen and uh, over, you know, since the um, the highs were in place uh, here and here, remember we had the uh, Bank of Japan coming in here, uh, threatening intervention uh, near the 144.98, let's call it 145 level. Market's been uh, confined into a fairly narrow trading range or at least an up and down trading range. That's this area through here. Uh, this is the hourly chart, the 38.2% retracement of the move up from the August 23 low. This was the when the last trend move to the upside started. Uh, the 38.2% uh, retracement is the lower end of this range. On the top side, we have the 145 level as the upper end. And over the last, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five uh, trading days, the market's been trading above and below. It's 100 and 200 hour moving averages. Both of those moving averages are converged with, which is indicative of a non-trending market. The market um, buyers and sellers are battling it out, and that's what we're seeing in the price action. Uh, but we are staying near the highs, and uh, we are above the 100 and 200 mm -hmm. hour moving average currently uh, we do have the uh, high price from last uh, Wednesday uh, Thursday's trade uh, right here at 143.80 and that's where the market moved up to test and uh, um, we need to get above that level and stay above that level to then have traders looking toward this uh, area right here a swing high uh, swing high swing high uh, up and down uh, here but uh, swing high and then a swing high right here sent the price to the downside here we left the uh, area up here as the extreme so this is uh, the before the extreme area here as the uh, target up there at 144.38 to 55 level on, on the top side. But first still need to get above the 143.80 level and then probably looking at the 144 level as the uh, next target for the um, dollar versus yen. On the downside, uh, the, you know, risk for longs who are looking for a higher dollar here, higher dollar versus yen uh, would be uh, near the con near converged 100 and 200 hour moving average is uh, near 143.36. Let's take a look at the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar in this uh, currency pair. This is the uh, daily chart. Uh, reached uh, two bottoms here near the 113.50 level. You can see it better on the hourly chart here. Moved down to that level on Friday and then yesterday. 
Um, we uh, moved down in the Asian session into the European session and, and tested that level as well before bouncing back to the upside of racing. Similar to what the, we saw in the Euro, moved to the downside, moved back up, erased the whole uh, decline. And in t today's trading, we're seeing um, obviously some up and down uh, price action here, confined by the 100 hour moving average on the top side at 114.55. Uh, the market needs to uh, get above that level, but found uh, sellers against it here and here and uh, moved uh, down away from it. So unlike the Euro versus US dollar, uh, which uh, ended up getting above the, um, the top side area through here, the uh, sterling versus US dollar couldn't get above its resistance here uh, against the 100 hour moving average. This swing area through here is uh, uh, being tested uh, currently at the moment. If we move below that level, then we head into the extremes on the downside with the 113.50 level. Um, around that level as the uh, key support on the downside, two, two lows there. For the uh, dollar versus uh, Swiss franc, it too is uh, showing up and down price action here, but found support against its falling 200 um, hour moving average. It's um, uh, It did get below the 100 hour moving average uh, briefly, but uh, held support against the 200 hour moving average and bounced back to the upside. The 100 day moving average remains a key level to get to and through on the top side. It comes in at 0 0.9685. Um, recall from last week the low price on this move to the downside came and held support against a 200 day moving average so um, if I were to take a look at the uh, daily chart uh, 200 100 the market is uh, trading in between these wide extremes here waiting for the break either to the upside or to the downside do we find sellers against the 100 day moving average keep the buys uh, or keep the sellers in the game uh, we did uh, see it move above it briefly yesterday and fall back below it but uh, did, again did find support against the interim 100 and 200 hour moving averages on the downside which which um, keeps the battle going on between buyers here against support and sellers here against resistance uh, for that uh, currency pair finally i'm going to take a look at the uh, dollar versus canada why because the uh, market uh, moved higher uh, yesterday uh, trading to the um, highest level going back to 2000 and uh, the uh, pandemic 2020 the part Price came down, tested the 100 hour moving average in the Asian session and found buyers here and here and pushed to the upside here along with the other dollar buying that we saw in the um, morning and, and we are currently trading at near the highs here for the uh, dollar versus Canada and uh, looking toward the 133.43 level which again if we take a look at the daily chart is the highest level going back to uh, this day which is October of uh, 2020. Um, the end of October 2020, so uh, need to get um, uh, need to keep that uh, bullish buying buyers going. By the way, the 50% retracement uh, is a key target. That is of the move down from the uh, March um, March 2020 high down to the low that we saw in April 2021. The 50% comes in at 133.36. Yesterday, we moved briefly above that. That's our uh, next target on the top side here for the dollar versus Canada as we move toward our high. So be aware of that level. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.